And to her partner John and her family, her dad. Where's Tony now? I don't even see him. Oh, but behind the behind the flowers. And and her brother Chris and her brother Jude and her sister Bernadette. Really glad that she's come down from come up from South Carolina. We're really glad that she's here as well. And Chris, where's Chris? Chris is way in the back. Um, I want to especially thank him for the Welcome to many of Natalie's friends who are here and also the folks in the community who have benefited from her health and from all of you, everybody who's here. This is a really nice reception for a favorite person from Jamestown. I introduce to you Oliver Birdo. Oliver is an Infinity student. He's been with us for about three years at the program now. Um, he plays guitar, he also plays drums, and he knows how to do uh, digital recording as well. And he's learned all of this through Infinity. So um, he's 16 years old, and he is a student at Chautauqua Lake School. This evening, Oliver's going to perform two songs for you. The first one is a Bob Dylan cover, um, and it's called I Shall Be Released. And the second song is an original written by Oliver, and it's called Seven Years. So please welcome Oliver Birdo.
future generations. Similarly, in 1949, the Jamestown Girls Club was founded by women of the local Zanta chapter. Believing that young women should be accomplished and well-rounded, the Girls Club paralleled the Boys Club in offering members the tools they needed for future success. While both groups benefited by the hard work and vision of their founders, the ability to help the youth they serve would not have been possible without the support of the entire community. Each was blessed with donations of funds, time, skilled labor, materials, and supplies. Throughout the years, countless numbers of individuals made an impact for the boys and girls of Jamestown. One whose gifts and foresight, from which we still benefit, was Lucille Wright. Her donation to the Girls Club of 70 acres of land on Curtis Street Extension 
to be used for camping and outdoor activities is enjoyed for seven weeks every summer by today's kids. From the beginning, swimming was the most popular attraction at the Boys Club. In the late 1950s, under the direction of Tony Lavoie, the aquatics program became more popular and successful than any time in the club's history. Of course, we will always remember and appreciate the support and generosity of our benefactor, Winifred Crawford Divert. But in 1988, the Boys and Girls Club experienced one of the most exciting events in recent years. Natalie Merchant, a former Girls Club member, filmed a video of her song, What's the Matter Here, at the club and included some of our youth members. The album went gold and later platinum. Copies of each are on display in the upper lobby of the club, along with her multi-platinum album, Tiger Lily. Natalie has shown a deep concern for the children and teens of her hometown over the years. Through her support, some of the Boys and Girls Club's most important and meaningful programs have been carried out. Hundreds of our youth have felt the positive impact of Natalie's commitment to them. Although the world has changed dramatically since the inception of the original clubs, our mission remains the same to enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, responsible citizens. We recognize that with the help and support of the community, we can accomplish our goals. We are grateful to the United Way, the foundations, and those individuals, businesses, and labor unions, service clubs, who generously contribute to our cause. And now I'd like to ask Natalie and Jeff Kroon, our executive director, our executive director, to join me at the podium. Are there any Wee Tots in the audience? <laughs> Wee Tot alumni? Okay. Um, Wee Tots were the uh, four and five year old members of the girls club community. And I started going to the girls club when I was five with my sister and my, my neighbors. We would walk there. And um, I had wonderful times in this building. And I remember Mrs. Wright coming on occasion and we felt that we were experiencing a very important event when Mrs. Wright would come and stand on the stage with all her bracelets and her, yeah. her pearls and say, Girls! Yeah. <laughs> I am so proud of you! <laughs> so anyway, thank you. check showed up and I know other organizations uh, received that check also a check like that and basically it said I want to help and support the teens of Jamestown and um, that really took us by we didn't expect it. it like I said it took us by surprise we have a teen center that's free uh, on the second floor of the YMCA and we serve lots of uh, needy teens and I remember it, it was a few years quite a few years ago and I remember the handwritten note in that she really wanted to make a difference uh, with the teens of Jamestown and she had become aware of this, uh, this teen center. So uh, a few years went by and, and Natalie continued to support uh, 
the teen program, and uh, we would send her reports, and she would possibly write back uh, at different times asking questions about it, things like that. And then one day we got a call and said that she would like to visit. And I thought, okay, uh, I, I can't remember if I talked directly to you or your representative, and we says, uh, you want the media there? You know, that's what we're thinking, that, that she'd like photographs and pictures and interviews, and oh, no, 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 I don't want any of that. And, uh, but I would like to come, and she said the date that she would, would be there, and uh, she showed up about 15 minutes early, because I remember I, I came up there, and I said, well, is Natalie here? we got to be ready, and all this sort of thing. And there she was, uh, <laughs> sitting, sitting over in the corner uh, with a few kids talking to her, and she did say that uh, the kids wouldn't know, know her songs and wouldn't know her, but that wasn't true. They, they all knew, uh, even though she didn't think so at that time. But... Uh, what really uh, burned in my, in my heart is, is what I watched uh, that night. Uh, you know, the money, and we always told the kids, Natalie Merchant, you know, cares about you. She's been successful, and this is why we have some of the things. This is why we have this teen center and can do some of the things that we can with you because of her support. But uh, that uh, late afternoon, I believe it was, uh, she sat there for like an hour and a half of time and, and just sat there and one by one the kids came and talked to her and again there was nobody, there was no uh, cameras rolling or any interviews or things like that so I know it was really coming from her heart and speaking of her character somewhere it says that uh, true character is when, how you behave when nobody's looking and to me that spoke, uh, you know I really do care about these teens and it's not about publicity or, or uh, my name or anything like that. And those kids coming up and seeing that this famous person to them uh, took this time to spend with them and, and no rush to leave uh, spoke volumes uh, to those kids and to me and to my staff. Do you remember that when you were there? Yeah. And so more than anything, we wanted to uh, you know, really thank you for that. Uh, the support is wonderful, but that spoke I don't miss my board president is back here, Valerie Else, but uh, John Barber, the team director, uh, board president. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> I've not met you, um, but I can tell you how thankful I am for for your support of the teen center. Um, you know, every day, even even right now, kids have a place to go here so that they can be safe and have a good time together. And and I appreciate. I, I grew up around here, and I want you know I appreciate the opportunity I have to make an influence. And I just get a sense from from your support that you that you wanting to leave a legacy beyond just who you are, but beyond in, in serving teens and serving kids is a way of something that actually lasts on and on. And I wanted to give you, we, we, I put together a little video of just some pictures for you to watch at home um, of just some of the current kids, kids maybe you haven't met, um, but they're kids that we are working with every day and some of the programs that we're doing. This is Zach, he's one of our teens. Zach, maybe you bring that right on down to Natalie for her. Go ahead and bring it right to her. So thank you, Natalie. the effect that Natalie Merchant has had in our organization. I've had the privilege of being an executive director for almost 11 years, and during that time, I've had the privilege of um, seeing what Natalie's money has done for our camp, and for the campers, and I know she was there yesterday, and she got to see firsthand the faces of the kids that we serve. But beyond the dollars that we see, um, there's just the personal stories behind the kids. The kids that go to, get to go to camp that maybe their grandparents now have custody and they don't have money or people that have multiple siblings in their family and they couldn't afford to send them all. Those are just wonderful stories that we have every year of children that come to camp and maybe that first day of camp, they don't want to be there, they'd rather stay home or they wanted to sleep in. And you always see those kind of disgruntled ones the first day or so, and by the end of the day or end of the week, they are laughing and enjoying each other and um, really enjoying the experience of camp. And when I first became the executive director, I, I live in the country, so I'm used to a lot of grass and you know, a lot of space. And that was one nice thing about our Lake Lodge camp is that they noticed that there was so much space and there was water. 
and we taught kids to swim that wouldn't have maybe learned how to swim otherwise, and that's an important thing for kids to do. So we wanted to thank you by giving back as you've given back to us. Um, we've taken some pictures of our kids and the camp, and some of them with you yesterday, um, and we've loaded them on a digital photo frame, so then wherever you are, you'll have a little piece of Jamestown with you, and then you can load some of your family and friends also on it. And really thank you for all that you've done for Jamestown. We teach the kids in our after-school programs and our youth programs about character traits and honesty and integrity and volunteering and giving back to your community and making an imprint. And we appreciate the imprint that you've made on the kids in our organization. Thank you. Junior Gilders of Jamestown and Helen
we are fortunate, she has found ways to utilize them in the world. It strikes me that in this regard, Natalie is making good on the promise and the responsibility that comes with education. And you knew I'd be back to education. <laughs> that we develop and use the capabilities we've been given to the full extent of our potential. And through our life's work, that we make a positive impact on the lives of others. Natalie, I would have been proud to have the opportunity to recognize your achievements, regardless of your educational path as you are an exceptional person and claim exceptional accomplishments. <coughs> However, I take special pride in knowing that your path took you through JCC, and I trust your experiences at JCC helped establish the foundation on which you have built your very successful career. As a role model for others, Natalie has demonstrated the impact you can have on the world when you pursue your passion with commitment and discipline. Natalie has said, I always felt that being a musician was a vocation and that it was something I would do throughout my life and that I wanted to do it with dignity. Natalie, you have indeed followed your calling and achieved your goal with much of your journey still ahead. We will all look forward to the next chapters of your life and your music, which will, I'm sure, continue to entertain, inspire, and enrich our lives. In recognition of Natalie's many achievements, our Alumni Association is extremely pleased to honor Natalie with a special award which is reserved for a very few graduates who are exceptional in their accomplishments. Here to present this award to Natalie is Lisa Post, President of the JCC Alumni Association. College Alumni Association presents the Distinguished Alumnus Award to individuals who have distinguished themselves in their careers and or in service to their communities. On behalf of the JCC Alumni Association, it is my great honor to present Natalie Merchant with the Distinguished Alumnus Award. Congratulations. Marilyn Zagora, I gave you that paperweight when I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> Your calculations are a little off. My study evolved quickly. Um, thank you so much for this. I went to JCC when I was 16, uh, although I, well, I can't say um, it was anybody else's fault, but I was having a miserable experience in high school in Westfield, and I found out that I could go advanced placement and just completely skip my senior year. And um, it was extremely important for me who I am. And uh, that's where I met the members of my band, when I joined the staff of the radio station. And um, it just, uh, I hold a very special place in my heart for JCC. And my nephew is beginning to, um, I guess, is registration coming up soon? Yeah. Anthony's coming your way, so another generation. <laughs> When uh, Lillian contacted me a while back, indicated that Natalie was coming back home for this visit, she asked if I'd be willing to participate in the ceremony today. Of course, was a question she needed to ask, a very pleasing manner. But to tell you the truth, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to say when I first got up to the podium today. I came here maybe with some thoughts in mind, but I wasn't really sure until after I heard Oliver up here on the stage singing and the young folks from the Little Theater of Junior Gilders here. This town is very, very special. Near and dear to all of us. We love it here. And there's more that's good and right about Jamestown than what could possibly ever be wrong. And at the top of that list is the future of this community. I was listening to them perform. 
perform. The lesson of probably the best man that I ever knew. He spent his entire life trying to impart upon his children. Came back to me. It's particularly relevant here today. And he didn't impart that wisdom through the poetry of his words, but through the eloquence of the way that he lived his life each and every day. And that message was this. It's not about what you accomplish during your lifetime. It's what you inspire others to accomplish during theirs. And I think that's fitting for the lady that we're here recognizing, honoring, and thanking her today. She's been no doubt a success throughout her life, a point of pride for this community. But through her poetry, through her music, through coming back and never forgetting where she came from and helping people in need, she's inspired this entire room and this entire community. And it's my pleasure, Natalie, I'd like you to join me up here on the podium with Lillian, if you could join us. Of, uh, my colleagues in the City Council, three members are with us tonight, City Council President Greg Rabb, Paul Whitford is with us, and Councilman at Large George Spitali, that you better know as Cuz, so he's here with us tonight. I'd like to offer this proclamation on behalf of the 32,000 residents of the City of Jamestown and the 70,000 residents of the Greater Jamestown area. I have to use these glasses that I didn't have to use 30 years ago when I was going to Joyce's keg room. <laughs> Whereas today we honor singer, songwriter, and Jamestown native Natalie Merchant for her outstanding and successful music career and dedication to her hometown, New York's Pearl City of Jamestown. Whereas we recognize Natalie's excellence as a composer and the lead singer in 10,000 Maniacs who went on to produce platinum and gold records. Whereas continuing her success, Natalie has spent the last 18 years pursuing an impressive solo music career, producing several commercially successful and critically acclaimed albums. And whereas we recognize Natalie for her continued support and generous contributions to a variety of local nonprofit community building organizations, including the Jamestown Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, and the YWCA. Now therefore I, Samuel Teresi, Mayor of the Great City of Jamestown, am hereby proclaim Tuesday, July 12, 2011, as Natalie Merchant Day in the City of Jamestown. <laughs> acknowledge and express their appreciation to Natalie for her contributions to the field of music, but more importantly, for her continuing inspiration and support provided to the young people in her hometown and around the world. In witness whereof, I hereunto have set my hand and caused the seal of the great city of Jamestown to be affixed this 12th day of July of the year 2011. uttered these words for the first time. You can't come home. Whoever that was, as it relates to Natalie Merchant, he or she was wrong. Come home. Continue to come home. This is home, always for you. And we want you to keep coming back and back. And in those instances where your flight may come in late and the doors are locked, You can use this key to lock the doors of the city of Jamestown, Nancy, on behalf of all the residents of this community. In honor of all the hearts and minds that you've unlocked over the years, I'd like to present to you the key to the city of Jamestown. <laughs> Dr. Lillian May. Do you have one of these?
I'd like to thank Billy and May. If this was this was her idea, she's the troublemaker. She started all this. Thank you so much, Billy. experience for me to be here and uh, I was just trying to um, do good in, in secret but uh, obviously that can that can be accomplished here as well. <laughs> but this has inspired me to continue and my my seeing Oliver and um, and what's happening at the Infinity Center and incidentally as I served on the New York State Council on the Arts whenever there was an opportunity to vote for a grant for this area yes. I was there. <laughs> inspired to see the young people here and I'm inspired to continue to support these organizations and probably more in the future now that I'm becoming more acquainted with the great work you're doing here. So thank you and uh,